So let's dive into this. I've got a lot of stuff here, but I'm, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on some of these. Um, first of all, number one, claim and optimize your business listing. If you haven't claimed and optimized your listing, this is obviously the very first thing that you need to do. Um, let's see, Sari has a comment. Uh, my business is home-based, so I publish the address where my business storage unit is located. That's where I receive shipments. Will Google penalize me for that? Um, so they might penalize you for that if they realize it's a storage center of some sort. Not a whole lot different than a, like a UPS store or, or a, a post office, PO box, things like that. It's possible that they could penalize you. Uh, what would be better is to put your home address in and then there's a button where you can say, don't show my, uh, my physical address, show a service area. So that's probably what you want to do is change that to your home address since you're home based and then um, set that up so that it just shows a service area and that will uh, still, you'll still get the postcard and everything will be fine. But that way, at some point, they don't realize it's a, it's a storage area. And the other thing is one of your competitors could also flag that as incorrect and get you kicked out of Google as well. Uh, so definitely, uh, definitely use the service area option. And typically there's something in the back end that says, do people come to this location? Yes or no. You know, you would uncheck that box. Um, now for me, uh, I've had my, uh, my home, I, I work out of my home too. Uh, we've had this address on Google for you know 10 years now. And in all that time, I had one person show up uh, and they became a client. So it worked out well, uh, but don't be concerned about putting in a home address if you're home-based uh, and somebody's showing up, probably not going to happen. Um, phone number, uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, update your company to name to read company name. Yeah, don't add any extra keywords. Make sure your, uh, your website address is in there because in this example over here on the right, you see there is a button for website. People can actually go straight to your website from this listing. They can get directions. And then now there's an opportunity for people to chat with your business as well. Uh, don't use 800 numbers. Uh, do not use a PO box. Do not use a UPS store, those kind of things. They are really, uh, really sticking sticklers on that. So make sure that's uh, set. Uh, Debbie says, I've changed my business name and can't get Google to change the name. Uh, okay, Debbie, um, reach out to me afterwards. Uh, I have something called um, uh, a Google uh, leader account on Google Maps, and it may just be that you need somebody with a higher level uh, submitting that and getting that approved. So I'd be happy to help you with that. Uh, so just reach out to me afterwards, and maybe I can submit the correct one. And typically that, that generates it a lot faster. Um, let's see, uh, maybe that says Tony. Uh, I think that's Tony. Uh, if I use a Google Voice number, uh, yes, um, Google Voice is okay. Google Voice is a, a phone number that tends to forward to a different number. Um, you can use that, and we'll talk a little bit more about the name, address, phone number in a minute. The thing here is to make sure that you always use the same phone number. Uh, and like I said, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but Google Voice is definitely uh, an option. Oh, it's Oana. Okay. Hi, Oana. Thank you for jumping on. Uh, so we'll talk more about phone numbers in a minute. So I make sure I answer your question. Um, photos, very important to upload photos, things like that. Uh, so the first step here is to claim your listing. If you haven't done that, obviously the very first step, google.com slash business, find your business, claim that business. They're most likely going to put a postcard in the mail. So they'll let you kind of start to optimize your listing, but they won't show it live until they send that postcard to you. The postcard will have some sort of a pin, typically a five digit pin number. Put that number in a week later or so when you get the postcard and then your listing will go live. Uh, but there are a lot of businesses out there that haven't gone through the step to claim their listing. Uh, and it's very possible that you're getting reviews on a listing that hasn't even been claimed. So you definitely wanna know what people are saying about your business. Oana said, hi, Will, great to be here as usual. Thank you, so awesome. Uh, use your company, real company name. I've, I've said this a couple of times now. Uh, this is a, a company 
uh, a search for a couple different companies, and I found FNR Interiors custom window treatments. I clicked on this, went to their website. Their business name is FNR Interiors. So by putting in custom window treatments, you can see they showed up when that's what I searched for. Problem is, again, Google could temporarily suspend this. They could even you know kick them out. Uh, so not worth uh, going through that. Uh, for for the, the potential downside of it is not great. So uh, definitely make sure you're only putting in your real company name. Now, the other thing you'll come across is if you do a search for something like uh, NYC window treatments, people are getting smart and they're making that the name of their business, right? So that when you search for it, that's what comes up because that's the name of the business, but that's fine. That is their real name. Uh, but if your name is something that has, you know, like Jacoby Company, these guys have don't have the word window treatments in there, so they've got to fight a little harder to get into this mix here. Uh, but they're doing so by getting more reviews, things like that. Uh, but don't uh, don't add any extra words to that for sure. Now, once you've got your listing claimed, uh, this is kind of a dashboard of what you'll see. And the first thing you'll want to do is head over to the info tab on the left. And this is going to be where you can edit a lot of the information related to your business, put in your address, add your service area, put in your hours, uh, any special hours you might be closed. So like if you're closed for Labor Day coming up, you'll want to add that information uh, that we're going to be closed on that Monday uh, so that when somebody looks you up, it shows as being closed. Definitely worth uh, getting in there, but go into that info tab and start to fill all that out. This is just a small screenshot of it. It's, it's a fairly long page, uh, but get some of that stuff set up. And then there's some other things you can do. You can see how it looks on search. You can see how it looks on maps, just to kind of give you some previews.